Hi, it's Ileana, and I will be discussing how to use Genetic Genie in order to look at your methylation and detoxification genes. So when you use something like Ancestry.ca or 23andMe or Ancestry.com, um, you're able to download your raw DNA and upload it to a um, genetic scanner online in digital format and you can preview your uh, methylation genes and your detoxic detoxification genes um, and other um, predisposition things for health. So those are, those are some of the advantages of using genetic testing to figure out what the health stuff is. Now, Ancestry.ca and .com doesn't give uh, health reports, and 23andMe gives some health reports, but um, in order to look at methylation and detoxification genetics, uh, Genetic Genie is the best for that and some of the other health reports. And this is, um, doesn't cost you extra, so it's, it's really a handy tool to use the Genetic Scanner app called Genetic Genie. So I'm going to show you how to use that and how to use, utilize it to look at some of your health reports and methylation and detoxification genes. So this is what uh, Genetic Genie looks like. So when you're on the site, it's geneticgenie.org and that's what it looks like. So uh, they have several drop-down menus where you could go to your uh, genomic panels and you can uh, select methylation panel first. And what you do is you take the ancestry.ca.com or 23andMe file and it's a text file of your raw DNA and you upload it to, um, to Genetic Genie. I have it under ancestry here, and this is Ancestry DNA. So you upload it, and it takes less than a minute for it to upload. So you can see what the results of your raw DNA is for methylation genes. And um, so it, it shows that I have the BDRBSM, uh, vitamin D3 deficiency, and I have the MAOA A um, warrior gene aggression gene um, mutation. So this is the vitamin D3 mutation. This is the uh, warrior gene aggression gene mutation, and I have a plus plus on both. So it's a double mutation. Uh, so it's a double allele from the uh, maternal and paternal DNA of both my parents. And there are some other minor mutations in some of these things here, but they're not, um, they're not serious. Anything in red is a large mutation. These are minor mutations and the um, minus minus, it's no mutation at all. So this, it tells you homogenous plus plus is a large mutation, Heter heterozygous is plus minus, it's a minor mutation, and normal is minus minus in green. So red is a large mutation, yellow is a minor mutation, small, and normal is green. There's no mutations at all. So this is what this looks like for the methylation genes. And it gives you an explanation of what the genes, different genes are. So it explains it. So you have a good understanding of what these genes do. And you can save the report. You could save this, your methylation panel. You could save it as a PDF copy. And this is what it looks like in PDF. So that's what it looks like in PDF format. So it should have your name, uh, methylation profile, and generated what date it was. And again, it explains the different uh, genes and what they do. 
So if there is a mutation in one of them or some of them, this will give you a good explanation of what it is and what could be done about this. So this one, um, methylation is often vitamins, supplements, um, how your body is functioning. So this, everything in the methylation genes is responsible for how your body functions and uh, proper maintenance of your body. These are what these genes are responsible for. So I am now going to upload the detox panel. Um, so I'm going to browse for it. And let's see. So this is the, I'm going to upload Ancestry DNA again, the file, the TSX file, and upload it. And it's going to give me the detox genes next. That could be your liver, kidney, stuff like that. And that's also important to watch out for. Um, mine has a major mutation in the CYP1A2. And that is, yeah, CYP1A2. And it doesn't really here, it doesn't really give you an explanation of what that is. It has something to do with cancer. I looked it up, it has something to do with cancer. Um, yeah, I'm not really worried about it, but um, that's what this is for. And again, you can save it as a PDF, PDF file. Uh, yeah, it has your scan code, what was used. Um, so this one I did have to look up in, in the detox panel, some of this, what you could take is copy paste that and do an internet search and you'll find what this is, what the significance of the mutation is. And again, it shows you what's in red. It's a large mutation, the plus plus, because it's uh, homozygous, heterozygous, Plus minus, it's just one allele, so it's from one parent, not both of them. And this is in green is normal. So this is large mutation, this is minor mutation, and this is normal. So you can save this again as PDF. It should have your name or you could put your name there, uh, profile detox profile, and when you um, did the detox scan. So this is what that looks like in Genetic Genie. And going back, you can also go to the Gen View and look at Variant Discovery. And again, so you browse for your um, either ancestry.ca.com or 23andMe raw DNA text file, open it, and upload it into the uh, genetic genie system. And it'll scan it for the variants, the DNA variants. And it says processing genome, verifying species. In this case, it's going to be human, because this is human DNA. I'm human, somewhat. <laughs> mm. So it's scanning it and it tells you the percentages. It has to go up to 100%. Um, it doesn't take long. Interesting, 40% verified species. So it's scanning it, doing the science work. Yep, so it's at 70% right now going up to 80 now. So there you go. And this is the, some of the genetic conditions. Uh, there's, there's different types, drug response, other risk factors based on the variants, rare mutations, uh, uncommon mutations, 
So you can um, you you can look at any of these documents and it's large. So it'll tell you if it's significant mutation to some disease or if it's not. So you, you, there's five of these that you could look at. Um, you can save it as an HTML file, or you can, um, if you have a printer, you can go to File Print and Save as PDF. Instead of printing, you can do Save as PDF. You could uh, save all five of these options because um, it it just allows you to save it. If you have a printer, just don't hit print. Instead, choose Save as PDF and name it as any of these uh, things. So it's genetic conditions, it's drug response, other risks, rare mutations or uncommon mutations. I'm not going to go through all of this because it's a lot of information and this is very detailed usually. So you, um, can browse it quite uh, in depth to see what's going on with your genetics. And it tells you the gene, it tells you the variant, tells you the SNP number, tells you the allele, both alleles and the frequency percentage of, of the commonality of having this medical issue, uh, whatever it is. So, um, you know, I don't have too many <laughs> uncommon mutations. Good, I like it, not too much. Uh, let's see with, with genetic conditions. Uh, so here it tells you a description, cystic fibrosis, autosomal recessive hereditary, pancreatitis, autosomal dominant. Um, and it tells you basically expert reviewed and it says clinically significant. So I might have a small chance of, I might have a chance of having cystic fibrosis and hereditary pancreatitis. So to take care, to keep a watch on my pancreas basically. So this is clinically significant and it says it's a pathogenic variant. Uh, so I might have that mutation. Okay. Uh, this is the medicine stuff, drug response. Uh, drug response. Okay. And it tells you a frequency percentage of what drugs you might uh, not respond well to. So, you know, uh, and complications of stuff like that other risks. Um, this is medical stuff. And let's see. Cutaneous malignant melanoma 5. Clinically significant. Okay. So, and uh, yeah, it, it tells you a percentage. So it says rare. Uh, so look at the frequency of percentage clinically significant or conflicting uncertain. So look at the this actually when you're uh, looking at uh, other risks or rare mutations. Look at the percentage so you don't get scared by this because it might not be so clinically significant. Look at the frequency like it says for uh, cutaneous malignant melanoma, this is easy to pronounce. So I'm looking at the frequency, it says 0 0.25, it says rare. So look at this, it's not clinically significant. Uh, look at the rarity. And this is, if it has this and this, it's benign. So look at this, the rarity again, aplastic anemia, so 0 0.95, again, it's rare. It's rare to have it. Uh, nephrotic syndrome or idiopathic steroid resistant disorder. It's uncommon. It's only 1.45%. So it, it gives you um, 
a good percentage frequency of some conditions to look out for. So I would save all of these reports because it's, it looks significant to me, uh, very detailed information about uh, all these medical conditions, rare mutations, uncommon mutations, drug resistance, drug response or resistance and genetic conditions. So I just want to look at this again. Um, and it doesn't really give a percentage. It does say it's clinically significant. So this one, genetic conditions, I only have one, seems like, and cystic fibrosis and hereditary pancreatitis. So that's a pathogenic, it's hereditary mutation. So it tells you what it is. Um, it's quite interesting. I, uh, I like it. It's quite detailed and I recommend it for anybody to use it because it does have a lot of information, especially on your methylation, detox genes, and all of these five categories to explore. So I do recommend using it and uh, I think it's beneficial. It has been for me. Um, so I recommend it for others to, to try it out. And it's very easy to use the category categories. I would say categories are user friendly. Um, you just upload your uh, text txt uh, raw DNA file ancestry.ca ancestry.com or 23andMe, and you look at the different categories to see uh, what your health DNA is like, and uh, if there's any mutations if there's major, minor, or no mutations in your genetics for the health stuff. And um, yeah, it's easy to use again. So I highly recommend Genetic Genie.